Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll draw this sum in machine drawing. So first we will mark point 100. That is from here base will mark which is 100. And then from the center point will go up by 120. So first we will mark base 100 and from the center point will mark 120. And if you see on the top hand side, they have given 44, 88. That means from center it is 44, 44. What I'm trying to draw, I'm trying to draw those two circles of radius 12. So if you see, let's say this is point A and this is point B. This is base midpoint, you go up by 120, then you mark 44, 44 on both the sides. That is point A and B. Now you have to draw this point C also. So from bottom how much it is? 68. So if from bottom you take 68, you will get point 6 and from point 6 you can draw radius 40. Uh, it is not mentioned over here. First we will draw radius 12. also draw radius 12 diameter 12 that means radius 6 this is this is what I was ta talking about radius 40. So take radius 40 and draw radius 40. After that, this plus thingy. So take radius 20 because they have given 40. From center you draw radius 20 and they have given diameter 46. Sorry, the previous one was radius 20 and this is radius 13. So remember one thing, draw radius 20 and 13 respectively and they have given 6. So from center point you can take 3, 3. From here also you will take 3, 3. Can you draw this lines so you'll get this kind of a structure if you want you can erase those extra lines or you draw it light see all these lines will be dark So we got the middle portion. Now after that, we will draw this part. How much is this? 15. So we'll draw vertical line, vertical line. See from where we have taken 50, 15, 100 from there. And we'll draw this rectangle. Now first we'll try and draw radius this radius 10 so from the center point you go up by 14 
from here you draw radius 14. Radius 10. And then you join this. Now to draw this radius 14. From here we need to draw parallel line of 14 and from here 40 plus 14. See from point C 40 plus 14 and parallel line of 14. So from here 40 plus 14 so that would be 54. So from C you cut 54 and from this line you draw parallel line 14 I'll show you see this it is merging with this line 15 mm line so from 15 you need to draw 14 parallel line so take 14 in your compass you can keep it anywhere and you can draw arc and you draw tangent wherever it will cut that will be point let's say P and Q so from P you cut radius 14 And from Q also you draw radius 14. Radius 4. So you take 4 from here and 4 from here. Same way, take 4-4 four, four on both the sides and you draw parallel line that is horizontal and vertical line. So you'll get a 4mm square and you can draw that radius. Radius 4. After that, they have given 80, so you can mark 40, 40 on both the sides, then you can go up, and from that point you can draw tangent. Then there is, then there is a radius 34. Let's say this is point S. So from A to S would be how much? It is 12 plus 34 because it is external. So from A will cut 12 plus 34 that is 46 and from B also you cut same. So we'll cut 46 46 and we need to cut it up because we need to draw radius down see we'll go we'll cut up like this not down so wherever it will cut that is point s and from that point s we can draw radius 34 
and from center C we can draw radius 40. After that we will draw this hatching lines which are inclined at 45 degree and the distance between these two lines would be somewhere around 2 to 3 millimeter. Thank you.